Matt and Bill shared a painting job in a ratio of 5 to 8. It means Matt did 5 parts, Bill did 8 parts. And Bill worked 9 hours more than Matt. How many hours did Bill work? And how many hours did Matt work? I'm gonna draw a model again, but this time I'm gonna have a different bar for Matt and different for Bill, like this. Matt. Matt's would be 5 parts, like that. And then Bill's would be 8 parts, so it's longer. There. It is as if they divided the whole job into 13 parts, and Bill did 5 of it, and Matt did 8. And now it says that Bill worked 9 hours more than Matt. See, this is what Bill worked more than Matt, right? This is 9 hours. Three of my blocks are 9 hours. So, now it's easy to see that one block must represent 3 hours here. And how many hours did Bill work? Let me put here Matt and Bill. Now Bill worked, he has 8 of these blocks, 8 times 3 hours. So 24 hours, and Matt worked 5 times 3 hours, or 15 hours. Emily has saved 2 sevenths as much as Cindy. Okay, Emily has saved not as much as Cindy. That's just 2 sevenths of the amount that Cindy has saved. Then Cindy gives some money, 1 seventh of her money to Emily. Now Cindy has $30 more than Emily. How much did Emily have at first? And what is the ratio of Emily's money to Cindy's money now? Okay, it sounds complicated, does it? If you haven't done these kind of problems before, but when we draw this model, it becomes very simple. I just draw the same kind of model, one bar for Emily and one for Cindy. Okay? So Emily and Cindy. Now, Emily has saved two sevenths as much. So it is as if Cindy has saved seven parts. Cindy's savings are seven parts. And Emily's are just two sevenths of that. Two parts, right? Isn't this the correct way to represent it? And now Cindy gives one seventh of her money to Emily. So I will take one seventh of her money, which is one of these blocks. And um, let's imagine this gets cut off and moved over here, like that. So it's gone from here, it's moved there. And now Cindy has $30 more than Emily. I can easily now put that into my model. How much does Cindy have more than Emily? It is these three blocks, right? This is that she has more than Emily and it is $30. Three blocks, $30, so one block must be $10. Can't get much easier than that. So how much did Emily have at first? At first, Emily had these two blocks, right? Each one being $10, so Emily had 20. And then what is the ratio of Emily's money to Cindy's money now? I can look at my blocks. Emily has now three blocks of money. Cindy has six. So the ratio is three to six. But that simplifies to one to two. Okay. I hope this was helpful. Well done.